Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tamanna. I hope you guys are doing really great. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about five oily skincare mistakes that you need to stop doing right away. So if you guys are interested to know more about these mistakes and why they affect so much your skincare and your skin, then please continue watching. All right, so the first mistake that we need to stop doing right away, which is the basic one and which, you know, needs to be followed by everyone irrespective of their skin type or skin tone or anything, that is do not sleep with makeup on, all right? So that is one of the main reasons why we tend to get pimples, breakouts, blackheads, whiteheads, because, you know, our skin is not properly washed or we have not washed our skin and, you know, there's makeup on. So, you know, if the makeup stays on for more than 12 to 14 hours on your skin, then, you know, there is no oxygen exchange uh, happening with your skin cells. So they tend to get clogged and hence you start getting, you know, pimples, blackheads and whiteheads because there is no oxygen exchange and, you know, there's a layer of barrier, uh, you know, on your skin that, you know, doesn't let the skin to breathe out and exchange oxygen. So that's a very important point. Do not sleep with your makeup on. It's very, like, uh, dangerous for your skin, okay? Don't do that. All right, so this uh, point leads me to the next point, which is remove your makeup properly. So it is very, very important to remove your makeup very, very, very nicely and uh, you know because um you know there are people who think that the makeup is the reason that is causing them breakouts so that's actually a myth okay you do not break out because of the makeup you break out because of not removing it properly so it is very essential to remove your makeup and adding to that it's very essential to remove it properly as well so because uh, you know people might think that we have removed our makeup but we are still breaking out so one of the reasons is because you've not removed it properly so what happens is if you've not removed the makeup properly there's still some makeup which will cause bacteria and it will clog your pores and then overall lead to acne, blemishes, pores, clogged pores, blackheads, whiteheads and all that stuff. So what is the right way of removing the makeup? So uh, the right way of removing makeup is through double cleansing and it's totally a myth that you know oily skin people should not do oil cleansing or you know should not do double cleansing. That's totally a myth. You can definitely go for it and I have very oily skin and very sensitive skin and I've been doing this and it has changed my skincare game guys seriously so what I'm using currently is before anything I use this micellar water this is in every girl's vanity you will find this one okay so this is the Garnier micellar water I firstly remove my makeup with this like my eyeshadow my lipstick my eyebrow pomades I remove it with a cotton pad and next I do is a double cleansing step which is um, you know using a cleansing cream I've been using this one from the face shop which is the herb day cleansing cream and this is in the variant aloe you have many other variants as well in the cleansing cream but this is the one that suits my skin type which is oily so I've been loving this cream so much because it you know helps to get rid of the excess of foundation makeup you have on your skin it really helps to melt the makeup out of your skin it really you know takes out the makeup out of your skin like like this okay so um yeah I'm gonna show you guys the texture of the product you can surely use any other product instead of this one I'm just showing you what I am currently using that works fine for me so this is how it looks like so you just have to take some of the product place it on your face and then massage it so you have to really massage it in circular motions and very nicely so that all the foundation or the makeup is nicely melted and you know it's easy to remove then what i do is i just go on with the face wash step and i'm going to show you which face wash i've been using currently so this is the face wash i've been using and this is like the best face wash I've ever come across. This has been my favorite since um, two months. I've been using this for two months and I also have the, you know, refill of this already sitting in my washroom. So for this, this is about to get empty. So this is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash and this is with a uh, you know salicylic acid for acne prone skin and works wonderfully for my skin it doesn't dry out my face and still leaves my face super cleansed and nice so 
So this is the face wash I've been using. You can use any product that suits your skin and you'd like to use. After the face wash, you can surely go on with a scrub. And here, yeah, this is how I remove my makeup. And it's very important to remove it nicely. Also, if you don't like to use like cream cleansers, you know, like the ones I showed you, you can also use oil-based cleansers. So there's basically an oil that you need to use and rub on your face. It works the same way like this cleansing cream. But instead of a cream, it's going to be an oil. So both of them work really nicely on oily skin too. Anyone can use this method like irrespective of their skin type. But there are some specific products that are meant for dry skin and oily skin. So make sure that you, you know, choose the products wisely according to your skin type. Alright, moving to the third point is moisturizing your face is very very crucial and very important irrespective of your skin type so there is a very big myth about oily skin girls that you should not moisturize your skin because you are already producing extra oil so that is a very big fat myth that is not true all right irrespective of your skin type you need to moisturize your skin every single day twice a day okay so it's very important why is it so? So oily skin tends to be very greasy in nature, that's true. But once you have your makeup and then you have removed it nicely, then you have washed your face, scrubbed it off, then everything is off from your face, including the natural oils present in your, you know, skin cells and sebum glands. So everything is just out of your skin, which makes your skin, uh, you know, environment even more dried out. So what happens is like oily skin girls have their sebum glands more activated, which means, you know, sebum glands are those uh, glands or, you know, uh, skin cells that are responsible for producing oil in our skin like the natural oil that we have so what happens since there's a dry environment going on your sebum glands become more activated and start producing even more oil making your skin even more oilier and more greasier so to avoid that what you need to do is apply a moisturizer after you have washed and scrubbed your face which is really really important before you moisturizer you should also use a toner which will help to you know unplug all the pores and remove any extra thing that is left even after washing and scrubbing if there's anything left then the toner will make sure to remove that and it will also you know balance the ph level of your skin because we've used a lot of products and you know the skin ph level tends to get imbalanced sometimes so the toner will help to restore that ph balance and remove any impurities if left any so yeah and then after the toner wait for like two to three minutes and then proceed with moisturizer moisturizer is very very important so this leads us to the next point which is point number four which is using the right type of moisturizer all right if you are an oily skin type you need to use a moisturizer which is gel based non-commodogenic lightweight and you know according to your skin type if you're a dry skin then obviously you need to use you know heavy and rich textured um, moisturizers with shea butter and vitamin E and all those stuff and if you have normal and combination skin you can always choose between both of them because you know it goes according to seasons in winters you feel more dried out in summers you feel a little bit oily so normal skin people can keep on fluctuating or going for you know normal uh, aloe vera based skincare so yeah since this video is for oily skin people since I have oily skin I am more like able to recommend products nicely for people who have similar skin type than me which is oily skin so I've been using two moisturizers very very religiously and the first one is this one right here which is the Clinique moisture search I finished about like three to four tubs already and uh, it's a very nice moisturizer sadly I'm not able to show you the texture of this one because it's empty but it's very very good for oily skin it provides you a 72 hour um, hydration which is great and it's gel based it has no fragrance and it feels very lightweight it gets quickly absorbed onto the skin and it doesn't make your skin feel greasy or heavy or sticky at all which is great it's on the pricier side but definitely definitely worth to give it a try if you're an oily skin girl you will fall in love with this trust me the second moisturizer I've continuously been using religiously after the cleaning moisture surge is this one by Pons. This is the super light gel oil free moisturizer for non sticky glowing skin. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E which is really great for our skin. So this is a like you can see a dupe for the Clinique moisture surge very similar it has a very gel like texture I'm going to just show you how it looks. 
This is also like my second tub. I've been loving this. So this is how it looks like. You can see it has a very gel-like consistency. I'm going to show it to you more up close. So this is the texture of the moisturizer. You should go for moisturizers that have a similar kind of texture that they are gel based. As you can see, there was no white uh, texture, white thick creamy texture to this moisturizer. It almost felt like gel and it's completely absorbed onto the skin. As you can see, it gives you a lot of hydration and this will even, you know, get absorbed very quickly onto your skin. So within two minutes, you won't see this, you know, like hydration present there but it's going to get soaked into your skin and ultimately your sebum glands won't be producing extra oil which makes your skin less oily so this is how the skin looks can you guys see the hydration like see the difference that's amazing and this is going to get absorbed even more as you know you massage it nicely this is their biggest size i think and this retails for 2.99 but you always get it on discount on nika or on foxy so you know it's amazing this moisturizer works amazingly so it's very important to choose the right moisturizer according to your skin type so try to you know search for these keywords on your moisturizer keywords such as you know non sticky oil free non comedogenic and lightweight so these are the keywords you really should look into your moisturizer and overall skincare but for moisturizer it is very important because if oily skin girls use hydrating and heavy moisturizers then what happens that your skin gets clogged because they are quite thick and it takes time to get absorbed and since your skin is already oily then eventually it's going to make you break out which is something we don't want so um yeah all right so moving to my last mistake is using dirty makeup brushes and dirty pillowcases so it's very important to use clean makeup tools and what comes under makeup tools so makeup brushes beauty blenders and beauty sponges and powder puffs come under makeup tools your makeup tools should be really clean so you should try to wash off your brushes and makeup tools at least i'm saying at least twice in a month if you have oily skin because what happens if you are applying makeup with uh, you know the brush or the sponge you also pick up something from your skin right and if you're applying the product every day every day there is an accumulation of bacteria in your tools and dust and whatnot so if you keep on using that tool again and again it eventually leads to breakouts so for example if i'm using a fan brush for highlighting you know my face and i'm using that fan brush continuously for three to four months without washing it eventually i will see you know some bumps or breakouts appearing on the zones i tend to highlight so that's one of the ways in which you could know what the reason of breaking out. So uh, that could be the reason because you're using a dirty brush to highlight or you know basically doing your makeup again and again and you are breaking out in a certain or particular area on your face. Then that's a way to identify the reason of breaking out. So um, yeah, very important to clean your brushes, sponges and makeup tools. Very, very important. Secondly, uh, we need to use clean pillowcases. Try to change your pillowcases like uh, at least once a week or twice a week, depending on how your house works. So I personally, I change the pillowcases once a week. So what I do is I sleep for three to four days on one side and then I flip the pillow and, you know, sleep on the other side, which is already clean. And then I change it the next week. So that's how I maintain a clean pillowcase because what happens is that we tend to sleep at night and, you know, our cheeks get into the pillowcase so there is always something that's you know getting into the pillowcase be it acne or dandruff or anything that's falling onto the pillowcase you will get it back to your skin so that's one of the reasons you also tend to break out so yeah try to maintain uh, you know clean pillowcases that will definitely help you a lot and if you have dandruff then that could be also a reason why you're getting breakouts because dandruff is basically that skin that keeps on falling on your head or cheeks then eventually you get you know breakouts and whiteheads and clogged pores also another like bounty uh, tip is to maintain a clean phone screen it's very important because what happens is that we have our phone always on our cheeks talking or we are you know texting or doing anything so there's a lot of bacteria accumulated on the screen of your phone there's a lot of makeup also because if i'm you know talking then there is makeup that also transfer onto the screen and then if i again and again put it then there's gonna cause me breakouts and bacteria accumulated on my skin and we don't want that so try to you know clean your phone screens once a week 
or you know regularly with a wet wipe or just with your clothes just rub it and then use it it's up to you and yeah these were the basic mistakes that we tend to do that ruin our skin completely i even had a lot of more points that i wanted to include in this video but then i thought the video is going to be super long and you guys going to get bored so let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see a part two of this then i would definitely make it for you guys and yeah that's all for this video if you really like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please consider subscribing to my channel it would really mean a lot to me and yeah thank you so much for watching till here see you in my next video bye guys